Hi. How are you? Hi. How are you? Executive producers. Are you here? I'll go where we're going. A gay New York City dad? Is that what it says? <laughs> I almost this I, I just a little too far. My zip code's wrong, but close. Is it a, is it a publication? Is it a publication? It's me. I have a kid, so I'm a gay <laughs> NYC dev. I love that. That's kind of niche marketing. <laughs> You're telling me. Actually, I'm a mommy blogger. Shh, don't tell anybody. I love it. I love it. Well, I'm a gay LA dad, so there you go. Excellent. Oh, you're putting this on tape already. I have to go to jail now for me, I said. Okay, we're on here. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hello. How can we help you? Are you having a great con so far this weekend? Yes. Are you loving it? Yeah. Well, we just this isn't the weekend. We just started for us. We came this afternoon for the first we arrived, whatever, for the panel. But um, it's pretty exciting. Is this your first one you've done? At New York, yes, actually. And they don't usually have you guys at Comic Con in New York, do they? No, this is the first time for your lives. Is this your first Comic Con, or is it like? I think it is for the show. It's the first for the show. Yeah, it's the first for your lives. Very yeah. Cool. Usually, I just sit home alone and wear costumes. But I, but he puts himself on tape doing yeah. it, so we watch. Those of us who are interested, watch. You too, Jim. So, um, I'm, oh, sorry. Who's gonna go first? I guess I'll go first. Okay. I guess oh, you want to go first, or have, we can go have clockwise. Have you, yes. you aged the girls? They're five years older. I mean, is it more than a haircut and an outfit? No, it's their history. We, we had to discuss as a writers room where they've been, and because the idea always was to reiterate or echo back to a moment in the pilot and the books where the girls are separated for a bit. Uh, Aria went to Iceland yeah. with her family, so they have not been together. So the return, the reunion, actually has some, it's, it's charged with a lot of anticipation right. and some anxiety because they've tried to forget some of the trauma of high, of high school. And when they see each other, what do you think of immediately? Yeah, trauma. We have more trauma to come. Yes. We have lots but more like trauma. physically. You know, it's, it's interesting, like one of these about it is, it's one of the ways in which the, the, the girls are such great actors yeah. is that they walked on the set when we, the first episode when we made the jump, and they were so ready to play okay. a different version of themselves. Yeah. They've been thinking right. about this. For they wanted to own time. it. They, right. And as I say, it's like literally from the moment that they all walked on the set, they were there. They were ready to be. It's the, you know, the thing about this way, it's an actor who's basically spent five and a half years developing their character backstory. Mm -hmm. Right. And we also didn't have the benefit, interestingly enough, that very often you would start a new season with a hiatus in between, which would give them time to be thinking. And we really went straight from. It was a, one day was one the day prom, was, it was the prom and the finale, and then next day was five days later. The next, five yeah, years later. Five years later. Much to the chagrin of the production, you know, the production staff True. and the art directors. Truly, it was. It was. We had to make a big leap, literally, and you know, staff wise, you know, the whole everybody in the writers had to click their mind into we're five years ahead now. And meanwhile, we were taking down sets and putting sets up and trying to remember where they were. And you know, I showed the prom picture. I had a picture of the four girls in their prom dresses, and I showed it. I went to a school event for my son, and one of his classmates, you know, was enamored with the show. And I said, "Oh, I, we just did the prom episode." She said, "So they're pictures?" And I said, "Well, I have one of the dresses I could probably show you where they're posing." And she said, "Literally, quote, no one looked like that at our prom." <laughs> and I thought, you know, that's why we're jumping five years because they're going to own this now, and if we make it. In the 50 years, it'll be Valley of the Jowls. We gotta do this, so it's just five years ahead, and 22, 23 years old is a pretty interesting age. But you still wanna go back to 1967 for one episode, I know that. I really do. I wanna do Valley of the Dolls for us one. I'm gonna do one Valley of the Dolls episode. Before, I, before this show's over, we're gonna have one. Audience will have no idea, but it's okay that parents or grandparents will wander through the room and say, what are you watching? What is that? What is that? So, uh, now, the parents were a big part in the high school portion of the show. Are they going to still play a part five yes. years later? Yes. Yeah. There's a different kind of relationship because now they're a little bit... They're there, but they think their children have survived this. And uh, there's some... And the parents themselves have got some repairs to make in their relationships with the, with the girls and with, and with each other. And you'll see some new developments with the parents. It's really nice in season 6B, five years later. There's been some new developments in relationships amongst them, and I can't say any more than that. Just stay tuned. I'd be amazed what we can say, but yes. Is there going to be a third A? A third A. That would be the triple A. <laughs> that would. She comes to fix 
Hannah's car yeah. to charge it's her not car. anymore. They just basically come and give you a battery. <laughs> that would be the triple X. Um, there will be somebody who doesn't want to make these girls' lives very, uh, someone to uh, antagonize and intimidate and force them to deal with truths. Let's put it that way. There, ha there has to be a threat. So we're going to find a new threat. We're not changing the DNA of the show. That's no. what you're asking. These girls, there's something in Rosewood that's still in this. And these girls have to deal with it. But the thing is, what we like about this, one of the things we like about this basically is we actually now can invite a brand new audience to the show. They can start enjoying the show from this point on. And then if they want to go back and watch anything that's come before, they can. One of the things we've been stressing is if you haven't watched the show, you can start watching the show. Yeah, the mythology now, hopefully, we're starting fresh with the five-year jump, so it isn't so labyrinth that people have to go, I'm sorry, I don't know what... Yeah. You just know these girls were beleaguered and traumatized in high school. But of course, if you missed the first episode, you're just as screwed up as you would be if you missed five years. <laughs> but that one you can watch. It's not binging. That's, that's, not binging. that's 42 minutes, or what, 36 minutes now. Last question. 41, 20, I think. They keep getting shorter. How do you think Charlotte's role going to um, impact this season going forward? That's one of the areas where we actually have the stock answer of you have to watch. <laughs> Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Thank you. I miss both of those. Stay tuned. It's okay. What are, what are fans going to be most excited about this season? I think I think relationships. I think you know one of the things the network said to us, and we were excited about this. They said, you know, not that we ever want to lose the mystery of this show and that element because it's an, it is the DNA of the show. But we were, because they're 22, 23, and not under their parents' supervision, and they've had some other relationships and some other experiences since they left Rosewood, we can focus on more adult relationships the girls can have with each other and with guys. And I can't tell you which guys here. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Yvonne said no. Well. Yvonne said no. What? It really ages well with freeform. Yes, yes, so yeah. Perfect. That's sort of the idea. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.